perspective. Uh, this is Daniel and uh, Bell for Greg and Tasha, good friends of mine. Uh, I'm getting ready to take it over uh, to Greg's and let uh, let them have it for a couple days. That's the nice thing about working with someone who's local that I know that you know I can take it, they can hang it up, whatever, and um, then I'll get it back, sign it, and uh, put varnish on it. Varnish critical for me. I work in acrylic. It does protect it. It also brings out the colors a little bit more when acrylics dry. They they kind of dull. So uh, a kind of a glossy um, varnish can bring uh, that paint back. Almost looks like it's wet. And the main reason I do it so I quit painting on them because I can paint on something padoodle. To that point, this is the third. This is the 
third um, video, conclusion video, if you will, that I've done, and I've just seen something else in the painting uh, that I've just redo the video. So anyway, very fortunate. Um, it's rare that I do paintings for uh, other folks that appreciate art, uh, or, or at least are artists. I think most people that want a painting appreciate art, but uh, Greg is a woodworker. Um, Tasha is, is in the performing arts, so they both uh, respect and appreciate art. And, you know, when they approached me, or when I offered to do this painting for them as a, as a housewarming uh, gift, they wanted, obviously, they wanted to look like their kids, but they also appreciate my style and they really wanted it to look like something I, I painted and not just a photograph, which I, I'm always uh, appreciative of. If you are an artist um, that's watching, I would um, point out a couple things and that's the way I paint in, in acrylics, a little different than other acrylic artists. I think that uh, I paint more like an oil artist, even though acrylics are water miscible and they can be very much like a watercolor. Uh, I put thick paint on and 99.9% and .9 of the, uh, the artists that I love, their work, professional artists, um, Richard Schmidt and Daniel Gerhardt's and Morgan Weislings and people of our time, they, they all paint in oil. And I'm lucky that I've got uh, videos of them painting. I've got, obviously, copies of their paintings, pictures. Um, so I put down paint uh, pretty thick. And I try to do it uh, in the, what would be defined, I guess, as bravura. Um, thick, uh, committed, brave strokes. Uh, try not to overwork it when I'm doing things like this that I'll say don't matter near as much as, as you know, Bell, if, if you will. I have fun with it. I want it to make sense and it needs to look, from a distance, it needs to look, you know, real, if you will. But it's this is palette knife. It's the back of a brush. It's a homemade brush that I've got that I just pick up paint and just slap it on. And, and, and you got to slap it on the right spots. But um, try to also work the temperatures and, and edges. Uh, this is a warm, beautiful day. The sun is warm and the shadows are cool. Uh, reflected light is, is cool. Uh, warm, tr very warm transition into the light. Notice this is warm sunlight directly on them. So the shadows are going to be very cool, just like reality. If I turn, you know, that this light is an incandescent warm light that is reflected, beautiful blue reflected light. It's not direct sunlight coming in. So that this light is cool. That light over our head is warm. So if I turn off this light, it kills, if you will, a little bit of the warmth and the, the yellows and some of the warm pops out. And, and it's important, you know, when you are hanging a painting uh, that, you, that you understand the light that it's hanging in. Because if I, if I take this outside, it looks completely different. There'll be, you know, blues and almost purples that pop out that, you know, I don't even see now. This here, this a uh, little bit more of a vibrant thalo blue on his shoulder. If I take this outside, that's going to just go bam, much more than it shows up uh, here. Uh, that's it, I guess. So that uh, is fun. This is a larger, you know, one of the larger paintings, I guess, for me. I forget the size dimensions of it, but uh, it's it was a fun one. I love painting stories, not... You know, people looking at the camera dressed up in outfits that they wouldn't normally wear, suits and things, and going, cheese, that doesn't excite me. Um, figuratures, if you will, a lot of what I paint of, of my family. Uh, and I, I like to paint everything. I mean, I pay, I'm painting bourbon bottles and landscapes and, and still ice, and I, I like to paint everything. But th this was, it was fun, uh, Daniel and... Bell. So I'll take it over with for them to have for a bit and 
We'll finalize it uh, soon. Hope they like it.